Hello everyone, we now are going to work on a new editing project which is going to be editing together a scene from a restaurant. So if you go into the shared drive and then go into Cine Study Activities and then in there you'll find Project 1 Restaurant Scene. And then in this folder there are four different shots and a script. And you can see the script is just a basic one page scene with two people talking to each other and the objective of, the, of this activity is to edit the scene so the man looks guilty because spoiler he may or may not have cheated on his girlfriend and we're going to edit this together to make it look like he did and this is really just a scene with two people talking to each other so the goal here is for you to really pay attention to the way that they speak to each other and the kinds of facial expressions they make and then while you're making your editing decisions by checking through these four different shots that's how you're going to put the scene together and make it seem like this guy is guilty for cheating on his girlfriend. So I have my project loaded up over here and I have four different shots. So the first shot is just a side view of the conversation but otherwise the second half is just the same scene over and over again with different takes. The second shot is then the uh, shot of just the woman's face while she's talking. Again, it's the same scene over and over, over again, just different takes, uh, different facial expressions, and then on the second half, it's much closer up on her face while she's talking. The third shot is then the reverse shot of the guy arriving and then sitting and then for the most part we're just looking at his face and again on the second half we see that it's a little bit closer in on his face. And then finally the fourth shot is of the waiter and he just comes in and says his line. So you have a choice between a wide shot of the two of them speaking together and then a close shot on the woman and then an extreme close-up on her face and again a close-up on the guy and an extreme close-up on his face. So these are the, the four things I'm forgetting about the <laughs> waiter over here. Uh, so it's these four shots that you need to juggle. You need to think about how can I put this together using the different takes and they're saying the same thing over and over again, yes. But you really need to watch each of these clips and decide, okay, in this take, the, the man or the woman said the line better. There was something about the way he said it or the way uh, the woman's face or the man's face changed that really gave the game away. So I think that there are two ways you can go about editing this project. There's an easy way where you have to focus on correcting the audio. And there's the hard way where you have to focus on timing your edits correctly. No! Hey, no! Come on! hey, great, you come with us upstairs. There you go, Sonny. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way. So I'll take a look at the easy way first. So basically what you'll do is you'll take a starting point. I think that the best starting point is the this shot with the guy walking in so you can see him walk in. And then you can use the blade tool. We are only using the blade tool in this assignment. We're not going to do any kinds of transitions and shenanigans like that. And the thing that you need to keep in mind when you're working with the blade tool is that your shots need to line up. So for example, in shot three, we see the guy walking in. And in shot one, we have a side view. So I'm going to find one where it's just them sitting. Okay. So one of the tricky things you'll need to do here, and again, I'm using the, the command B blade tool to cut this file. The guy walks in and he sits down. And when I'm holding the blade tool, you'll see that I have this clip highlighted and when I hold my cursor over there, there's a icon of a film unrolling to the left. And that's because I can drag this 
one on the left backwards and forwards. If I click on the right, I can then grab this clip and I can drag this one to the left or to the right. So I'm going to pull this out so he's not in either of the frames. And then you can just use this to try to find you can just use this to find where he comes in. So he walks in, sorry I'm late, and she says it's okay, and he sits down and picks up the menu, and what's good here. Then on this scene, well in this shot, again he walks in, same dialogue, walks in, sorry I'm late, it's okay she says, and then he picks up a menu. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's okay. <sighs> What's good here? Listen, we need to talk. And there you go. So these are the kinds of things you need to think about. How are my scenes matching up? Because in this scene, I'm going to hold my cursor over here so we can see both shots. In this scene, he's walking in and sitting down and grabbing for a menu and then when I say this scene I mean the one on the left and on the right hand side he's already sitting down with the menu in his hand and you need to get this lined up so it makes sense it would certainly not make sense if he if it looks something like this like he comes in and he's putting his coat down and then you transition hey sorry I'm late it's okay <sighs> what's good here now with this edit that I just made He's putting his coat down, and then all of a sudden, he has a menu in his hand. And that doesn't make any logical sense. So the game here is for you to try to queue up going from shot to shot, but still matching the movements of the characters. And by matching the movements, then you will create a seamless transition from shot to shot. And by creating a seamless transition, you're creating a video that looks good. And that's basically what I did for my first edit of this video. Now this is where it does get tricky. I did say that there's an easy way and a hard way, but there's a bit of a trickiness to the easy way. And that is you need to balance your audio. So you need to click on each individual clip and then go over here to the magic wand and get the app to correct your audio for you. You need to make sure that you're removing the noise because you'll hear that these clips are a bit noisy and their audio is very unbalanced. Sometimes one person is much quieter than the other and you don't want to have a scene where you can't hear what's happening. So part of your goal here is not just editing the scene in such a way that it seamlessly transitions from person to person, but also that it sounds good. So you'll see over here in this scene, I actually did exactly what I was talking about before. I have him putting his coach down in the left hand clip over here. And he's then putting his coat down on the right hand clip over here. And then when we watch this. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's okay. <sighs> sorry I'm late. And then in the next scene, we see the woman talking and she says it's okay. And then they continue the conversation from here. You will also see that I, what I did is I took some different clips and layered them in here and removed the audio so that while the waiter is speaking, we can get a sense of what these people are doing, well, not doing, how they're looking at one another. My third version, this is the hard version. So... I was playing around with different editing techniques to set up this video and I found that I just didn't like the audio when it was jumping back and forth between the different scenes. So like in this one, there, there are different audio qualities throughout this. And I want you to do your best to correct the audio quality. But what I like to do is just have the audio playing from one single scene. So I went through all the different clips, uh, different takes, I mean, and I found what I thought was the best take of this scene. And I just had the shot of them sitting next to each other across the table from each other. 
And then what I did, and this is what makes it hard, is I took the audio out of all these other clips, and then I used the audio from the first shot of them sitting at the table together. And I used it and I lip synced the video so that when they are talking to one another. So, what's good here? Listen, we need to talk. What is it? I know you cheated on me. Our specials tonight are the... That's not the audio from these clips. The audio you're hearing is the audio from the shot one. So that one was pretty fun to play around with, but it was kind of tricky to do because I really had to pay attention to how I was lining up my different sections. So that's really all you're going to do in this video. You need to go through the script and make sure that you are following the action such as it is. And you can edit this however you want. You can use whatever shot you want to create your scene but ultimately what you need to pay attention to is the seamlessness of the movement from shot to shot so that you are matching the movement, you're cleaning up the audio, and then making it look good. All right, and finally, what you need to do is add a credits sequence. And we need to give credit to the people who made this. So in your credit sequence, you will just simply take the scrolling credits and drop it over here. And then you go into the text editor, and I'm going to change the title to a restaurant scene. And I have provided you with all the credits you need. So you'll simply take all of this. These are all the people that actually made this movie. You're going to copy the text and then go to Final Cut Pro and just paste it in there. Then of course you'll put your own credits in here because you are the editor of this video even though these other people produced and acted in it. So edited by edited by me. Derek Weller. Weller, as my students like to call me. Mr. Wheeler, Derek Wheeler. And that is the credits sequence. Alright everyone, so basically you're just going to go through this video, you're going to watch these four different shots and select the best takes from those shots and you're going to edit them together and you're going to make it look beautiful and I look forward to seeing your videos. Good luck.